discuss about the liver in the human beings liver is the largest gland in the human body okay students and uh, it is situated in the upper right abdominal cavity right side upper abdominal cavity and uh, this is the liver is uh, weighing about 1.5 kg in human beings and uh, a uh, liver it is a uh, consist of two lobes liver consist of two lobes this is the left lobe this is the right lobe and these two lobes are connected with uh, falciform ligament okay students next uh, if you observe each one of the lobe lobe is uh, covered with uh, lobe covered with uh, liver lobe covered with the thin connective tissue sheath which is called glissans capsule okay students that is called glissans capsule glissans capsule each lobe covered with the thin connective tissue sheath is called glissans capsule okay students next another uh, liver consists to a body lobes and uh, each one of the lobe each one of the lobe consist more number of the aortic lobules these are the aortic lobules are structural and the functional units of the liver okay and another aortic lobules these are the aortic lobules are arranged in the form of the hexagonal structures okay next another each one of the aortic lobules are consist of aortic cells these aortic cells are arranged in the form of the aortic cords aortic cords cords means straight line like arrangement okay aortic cells are arranged in form of the aortic cords and on the aortic cells aortic cells the main function of the aortic cells aortic cells is secretion of the bile bile secretion and uh, aortic cells are open into the aortic duct aortic duct is open into the gall bladder open into the gall bladder and uh, gall bladder uh, leads to the opening of the pancreatic duct and forms the hepato pancreatic duct hepato pancreatic duct forms the ampulla of the bladder and uh, ampulla of bladder is open into the u shaped duodenum it is the first part of the small intestine that is u shaped to open into the u shaped duodenum that is the opening consist one of the sphincter that is called uh, sphincter of wurtz it is the left lobe left lobe is uh, with the left aortic duct and uh, it is the right lobe right lobe forms the right aortic duct and both of the duct forms the one of the aortic duct okay students and uh, aortic duct is uh, open into the gall bladder okay this is the gall bladder small sac like arrangement and uh, bile juice is uh, concentrated and stored in the gall bladder and by the help of the cystic duct both are combined a aortic duct and the cystic duct from the gall bladder both are combined and forms the common bile duct that is the common bile duct is uh, combines with the pancreatic duct came from the pancreas okay students and the common bile duct and the pancreatic duct both are combined and forms the hepato pancreatic duct hepato pancreatic duct forms the ampulla of wetter ampulla of wetter ampulla of wetter open into the open into the duodenum by the help of the one of the sphincter that is called sphincter of the wurtz sphincter of wurtz and uh, and the students this is about the uh, diagram diagrammatic representation of the pancreas and the liver and uh, also with the associated structures which are duodenum and the gall bladder okay and uh, another uh, what about the functions of the liver 
okay liver performs different types of the functions in this uh, first one liver is that it is secretes bile bile secretion is the main function of the liver that consists of bile salts and the bile pigment okay these are the bile salts are sodium and the potassium tarocolates and glycocolates which are helps in the digestion of the fats emulsification of the fats and bile pigments what about the role of the bile pigments these are formed by the destruction destruction of the hemoglobin of worn out rbc okay another uh, Uh, this is the bile is uh, finally entered into the u shaped duodenum lumen of the duodenum and another uh, sugar molecules for example glucose glucose is converted into the glycogen glucose is converted into glycogen and this is the process is called glycogenesis and glycogen is uh, converted into glucose this is called glycogenolysis these two process uh, carbohydrate metabolic reactions occurs in the liver and uh, uh, also helps in the detoxification of the toxic substances any amount of the toxic substances present in the body these are detoxify by the liver and uh, another uh, kuffer cells kuffer cells also present in the liver kuffer cells these are the kuffer cells act as a hepatic macrophages why these are called hepatic macrophages these engulf the microorganisms okay another uh, substances bacteria virus like that these are called phagocytic cells or also called hepatic macrophages kuffer cells and another this is a hemopoietic organ in the fetus at the development of the fetus fetus in the mother's womb this is act as a hemopoietic organ at that time it secretes the red blood cells and erythrocytic erythroclastic organ what is the meaning of the erythroclastic organ it is helps in the destruction of the rpc in the adults okay along with the spleen so it is called erythroclastic organ next and uh, this is uh, also secretes heparin 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 acts as an anticoagulant anticoagulant it helps in prevention of the clotting of the blood in the blood vessels heparin heparin is anticoagulant and helps in synthesis of the urea synthesize urea for excretion deamination of the excess amino acids occurs in the liver cells and uh, and finally forms the ammonia the amount of the ammonia finally forms into the urea by by the help of the ornithine cycle which is also occurs in the liver cells finally the amount of the urea is uh, uh, transfer into the kidneys for the elimination and and the uh, cholesterol cholesterol synthesis liver also synthesizes cholesterol cholesterol helps in the formation of the synthesis of the different types of hormones and the vitamin d okay and this is also produces triglycerides triglycerides are the one type of the lipids and another lactic acid lactic acid is produced by anaerobic muscle contractions in the muscle cells the amount of the lactic acid is passes into the liver by the blood circulation and in the liver amount of the lactic acid is converted into the glucose molecules again via the pyruvates okay that is called cori cycle that is called cori cycle okay and liver performs and uh, liver 
acts on the lactic acid and converts into the glucose molecules okay that is called a core cycle and uh, another liver also helps in the synthesis of uh, plasma proteins which are act as plasma proteins albumins and the globulins are the plasma proteins and also forms the blood clotting factors such as fibrinogen and the prothrombin liver is also act as a thermoregulatory organ because by the storage of the glucose molecules in the form of glycogen okay and another what about the pancreas 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 is the second largest gland in the body of human being this is also called a heterocrine gland and uh, another it is also called a uh, sweet gland okay and this consists of two types of the parts liver is located between the space of the duodenum u shaped duodenum okay between the limbs of the duodenum okay exocrine part endocrine part consist in the liver endocrine part of the pancreas pancreas secretes two types of the hormones so these are insulin and the glucagon another exocrine part exocrine part that consist pancreatic acne pancreatic acne this is the pancreatic acne secretes pancreatic juice pancreatic juice pancreatic juice helps in the digestion of the food particles this consist sodium bicarbonate and trypsinogen and chymotrypsinogen carboxypeptidase lipase amylase nuclease lipase it is called pancreatic lipase amylase it is called pancreatic amylase nuclease these are dnas and rna as okay students this is about the two types of the glands these two glands about the liver and the next one is the pancreas okay students